Welcome back to the Palais Omnisport in Paris, France. The voice, Michael Chavello, Lightning Mike Angove, and it is time for quarterfinal number three between the Czech Republic's Peter Vondracek and the Hightower from Holland, Semi Schultz. And Mikey, this one is going to be a ripper. He's a super-sized samurai. I've never heard Semi Schultz called that before. Super size indeed, Semi Schultz, six foot eleven or two hundred and eleven centimeters. Mike, he's so tall, giraffes are attracted to him. Look at the size of him, enormous. He is a big, big lad, and we saw him knock out seven foot two Montagna Silva in the career show. He'll be fighting a shorter fighter in Vondracek. Vondracek, a bit of another one of these guys, is a bit of a pretty boy in K1. Well, he's a bit of an Albert Kraus, isn't he? Kraus is really the, the pretty boy of the K1. That's and Vondracek's the, the pretty boy of the heavyweight musician. And, uh, well, why are we talking about pretty boys anyway, Mike? Let's just let's get back to the action. I'm worrying myself here, sitting next to you. Vondracek, six foot one, so he's not a little man, but in Anyone standing next to Semi has to be small. Just, just going back a minute, mate. Uh, weren't you the one talking about Viagra earlier? Mikey, final instructions are being given. Let's just listen in. Three by three, modified K1 rules do apply. And Semi Short last time out scored a first round KO over Montana Silver, as he said in Seoul. Meanwhile, Peter Vondracek, former WKA World Kickboxing Champion, really has his work cut out for him here tonight against the high tower from Zudlarend, Holland. Vondracek will be used to fighting under these modified rules without the knees. He's already circling away. He really can't afford to just circle like that against a fighter like Schultz. Semi Schultz just controlling center ring, this human skyscraper, checks the outside thigh kick. Look at Vondracek. Six foot one and he's completely dwarfed as Schultz just lifts his leg up and tries to flick the top of the head of Vondracek. Well, that kick went well over Vondracek's head, but it was only about shoulder or bicep height for Semi Schultz. It almost took out the ring lighting, Mike. He's enormous. He's a big, big lad, but he, he's also a very skilled fighter. He has a very, very good kicking arsenal in particular. He comes from a karate background. A little head clash in there. Vondracek complaining about it, but it was his own aggression that caused it. Front kick from Schultz. Vondracek trying to drift off to his right, and Schultz just cutting off the ring. Pops out the jab, short right hand. He'd want to work the knees there, but they are not allowed, of course. And won't that affect Sammy Schultz, a, a Muay Thai stylist and a karateka who's used to working his knees in close, but without them in France. Checks the low kick again to Schultz. Goes for an outside lead, fire Vondracek. Never seen such heavily gelled hair as that of Peter Vondracek. Ooh, nice turning right hand from the Czech fighter. Good overhand, right in semi short, got tagged! He tagged him on the jaw! Here comes Vondracek, the the underdog, the Czech fighter giving it all he's got! Well, semi short looked all at sea, and there was a jumping, hooking right hand thingy. Someone give this man a step ladder! Peter Vondracek opening up here on the raging favourite. I've never quite seen a technique like that before, but it certainly clouded Schultz. And there he gets again, right hand, left hook, and then following up with another uppercut. Schultz looking a little bit at sea right now. Uppercut from Vondracek trying to put the chin through the top of the head. Semi Schultz, wild left hand. And Vondracek doing an amazing job in the opening round. Well, the uppercut's not a good option for Vondracek if he's not going to follow it up with a hooking shot. Particularly a, a smaller fighter against a taller fighter. The only fighter I've really seen use that to great effect as a short fighter has been Mike Tyson. Overhand right from Vondracek. Outside thigh kick from Schultz. Takes a front kick to the midsection. He's taken more strikes than a fishing lure in the opening round. And this has got to go the way of Vondracek as he wades in with that tough thumping right hand. Semi Schultz not allowed to catch the kick, of course. So there was a momentary pause. Oh, overhand right again from Vondracek. Outside thigh kick from Schultz. And what a cracker! I love it, mate! Well, I have to say, I'd give that round to Vondracek. I love it when the little fella comes through, and I've got to agree. We're in green, in green for once, Mikey. Oh, well, there must be something in the water, mate. A 10-9 round for the Czech fighter, Peter Vondracek. And Semi Schultz, as I said, the raging favourite now with the elimination of Ittershov, has to be wondering what can he do. You see Vondracek circling and easing a semi-shult jab. 
showed himself, really hasn't got his range, but he's an upright fighter. He's so tall that he gets away sometimes with staying upright like that, which makes him vulnerable to looping punches. Overhand right in a sort of wind-up left hook. And getting ploughed back into the ropes by the Schultz front kick. Well, Schilt no stranger in the hands They're department. He has had five boxing fights for five wins and four KOs. So no slouch with his hands. Hey, and there's the defending K1 world champion, Remy Benjaski, ringside as we move in to round number two of three. And what has the high tower from Holland got in store as Vondracic again comes out smoking? Overhand right from Vondracic. Takes a shot to the ribs. He's hurt. He's back and the referee applies a standing count. Well, he may, it must have really hurt. He made the classic mistake of a fighter. You cannot show when you're hurt to the body because it's like painting a target on the area. And Vondracek pretty much did that. He's going to be lucky to survive this fight if that rib has sustained major damage. The big gargantuan semi shoot now winds up the power shot. All tied up in the neutral corner. Referee separates them. Schilt oozing confidence. Under, of course, that's the first eight count. Tournament rules, you only have to secure two eight counts and the fighter stopped as a TKO. So Vondracek cannot go down. Where's the left hand to the side of the draw? High left round kick. Luckily, he had the double forearm guard. Overhand right from Vondracek. Schilt thought of his knee, but he can't throw it. It must be frustrating him. A lot of heart shown by Vondracek there. He is clearly hurt, putting up his hands. Schilt doing well, going up high before going back downstairs. Another body shot downstairs. Draw his attention up high, then go downstairs to the body again, which is already damaged. Vondracek in a world of hurt. Fires out an uppercut, hoping for a lucky shot. Schilt just lumbers forward. Snappy left hand. I'm not so sure about that final call. Looked like he missed with a punch and slipped. He may have been clipped by something, but to be honest, he was just wavering in the winds there. Schult hair was all over him from that vicious kick to the ribs of Vondracek. Bash Bond in the corner there with the victorious semi Schult, and you know the guy's got a lot of power when he wobbles you with a jab. It's finished. And Mike, the question now has to be, who will stop 211 centimetres of semi Schult in this tournament with Alexei Inishov out of the running? Well, I really don't see anyone really hurting him unless they catch him with a big bomb. He has got a pretty good chin, but we saw in that fight that because of his upright style, he can be vulnerable to overhand rights and looping shots. Vainqueur à la seconde reprise par arrêt de l'arbitre, Semi Schilt. Well, the high tower from Holland, Semi Schilt victorious, moves through to semi final number two. And as you said, Mike, I don't see how anyone could possibly stop this Roaring Express. There we see the left hook kicking up high again before going downstairs to the ribs. And Vondracek. Bouncing back as a kick bag would off the ropes. There's the rip kick, followed up by the jab. Right hand, Vondracek just really wavering under the power of the big, big Dutchman. Well, Vondracek has never defeated one of the K1 elite stars, but he gave it a hell of a shake in the opening round, almost rattling semi Schult with the right hand, but it wasn't enough to phase the big fella who KO'd him in the second phase. When we return, it is the final of the quarterfinals. Kameo and Hayashi next. They want a hunger strike. They want to deport.